All right, hey everyone, Earthmaster here checking in Saturday night, April 25th, 2020, 9.31 p.m. Gonna do an earthquake video update since I did promise you guys that earlier while I was testing out the new uh, GoPro addition to the uh, streaming. Not for sure if I got that thumbnail issue fixed or not, but uh, we'll deal with that a little bit later. Last 24 hours of earthquake activity out here. Quite a bit of deep earthquakes. Uh, looks like here just south of the uh, Japan region there at a 4.1. Way down there at about 500 kilometers below the surface. There you can see the depth of the earthquake right here on the upper right hand corner there where it says most recent quake. But of course this is the uh, quake that I've clicked on on the globe. That 4.1 there just south of Japan, 495 kilometers uh, below the surface they're pretty significant and of course that 6.3 there should be just about ready to drop off the globe there if it hasn't already um, yeah it should have actually so we're probably just a little bit past the 24 hour mark um, of activity probably about 25 hours or so on this globe um, and as well as these earthquakes over here in Fiji these things should have been dropped off by now let me see if I can get rid of the hour about an hour's worth right there. Uh, 6.3 still wants to stick around, but that's okay. Uh, either way, activity is continuing globally out here. Nothing major to report. There's a little bit of earthquake swarming going on down there in South America. Uh, right around the... Uh, uh, let's see, where is that at? Uh, click on one of these and get an exact detail. Uh, yeah, right around Chile. I couldn't think of the word. I was going to say Cuba, but I, I was like, I'm pretty sure I don't think Cuba is down there. Uh, but anyway, it's been a long, fun day. I've had my nephew here for the past couple of days. Pretty interesting. Uh, put him up a little hammock in the tree behind the house. He absolutely loves it. Uh, earthquake activity along the West Coast dying down. Even the activity up in Idaho uh, continuing to die down, it looks like. The latest quake is going to be this 2.9 earthquake right there up in Alaska um, not a big one uh, interesting activity is this earthquake activity that started over here around Oklahoma of course these folks are no stranger to earthquakes and tornadoes of course uh, looks like uh, they had quite a cluster of twos and some threes in there as well mid three some activity has worked its way over to the east and to the northeast and followed a line of activity or a line of, uh, of uh, seismic activity towards Illinois. Uh, there was a 2.8 there near Cairo, Illinois, and also a 2.9 a little bit further to the northeast there port near Ports Portsmouth, Ohio. Never heard of that town. Interesting. Quite a few folks felt that 2.9 out there as well, which is pretty interesting. I don't think I'd fill a 2.9 out here in California. Of course all this activity kind of, if, if you think about it, it looks as though it may be following the, uh, the old North American Craton. If you don't know what that is, I've done quite a few uh, updates and uh, videos on that. The North American Craton uh, is pretty much a, uh, a stable landmass over the last million years or so. Hold on a second. give you just a little bit of information off of Wikipedia here um, regarding the North American Craton. It's a large continental craton that forms the ancient geological core of North America. Um, so it's relatively a stable uh, continental crust that remain, you know, remain relatively stable over the past well, few million years or so. As uh, far as it not being deformed, far as it not creating mountains, far as you know, it basically just real, stayed the same, so to speak. Um, but it seems as though some of those earthquakes may be following that uh, that path of the uh, old of the uh, North American Craton there. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about the uh, New Madrid fault system out here, unless we're starting to see a little cluster of quakes in a certain area, and that's just not happening at this moment. It looks uh, likely. Likely that these are just um, some sporadic quakes around the region, and uh, that's definitely a good thing. 
You don't need no major earthquakes out there. Of course, 2020, starting off with a bang. I'm sure it will continue throughout the year, right? Especially with some uh, <clears throat> issues with uh, Kim Jong-un there in North Korea. Not for sure what's going on. A lot of rumors spreading. Kind of interesting to see uh, where this may take us in the future if he is uh, indeed uh, on the other side. North Amer or, uh, Northern California, pretty quiet. Down here in the south, though, a little bit of activity still spiking up. I want to show you guys here on a different view. Uh, I like the newer maps, but I also like the older maps as well. You can kind of see the... Um okay, hold on a second here. You can kind of see a, uh, I don't know, a little bit different perspective of this here. It kind of lights up a little bit more. I like the old map style like this where they put the squares up here. And that's kind of why I sometimes use this as well. This is from the Caltech website here, the latest earthquakes in uh, uh, Nevada and California there. You can see quite a few red squares uh, through Mammoth Lakes down into Ridgecrest and across that... Uh, Garlock fault system there that runs kind of northeast to southwest all the way over towards the Los Angeles area there lighting up like a Christmas tree this evening uh, no major quakes to report there uh, in this region but uh, there's definitely activity in Southern California this map here gives a little bit uh, better detail when it comes to the fault systems out here uh, but I still like I still kind of like using that old map once in a while here you can see some of these red squ or red circles here. You can zoom in here, just north of Los Angeles here. Uh, a couple smaller earthquakes there. Looks like a 2.0, and probably even a smaller one here. Looks like a 1.6 near near uh, OG. Is that the name of that town? Hmm. Never heard of that one either. Uh, and then we can shoot over here. Nothing nothing really showing up, folks, on the San Andreas Fault System. There's those earthquakes there just north of Los Angeles. Again, um, nothing on the San Andreas Fault System. We come here through the Garlock Fault System, and there's a little bit of earthquake activity. This here is the Garlock Fault, fault Zone, that uh, northeast to southwest type shear zone there in Southern California. Ridgecrest sits up here. No major quakes, no influx of major swarming either. This is just sporadic, uh, I would say below average activity here for this region. Of course, uh, we're coming up almost on the year mark of the July 4th and July 5th earthquakes here near Ridgecrest that ruptured a pretty good area there in Southern California and shook up quite a few folks there. So, of course, as time goes by, we're going to see these earthquakes die, die down and pick up. Um, you know, it, it could go on for, obviously has gone on for months, but it could go on for years. But uh, we are definitely coming up on that year mark here pretty soon in a couple months. Uh, scooting up here towards the Mammoth Lakes region. Long Valley Super Volcano still seeing a little bit of swarming. Not a big one. This is, of course, the one day all magnitudes from the USGS. I don't see any significant quakes in this area. And it has not spread out at all. Uh, no migration of the quakes in any area, just kind of like confined to that region, uh, which is a good sign. No swarming up in Yellowstone, Idaho, like I mentioned, is quieting down a little bit. I don't see any major quakes there uh, or any, well, it looks like the largest one they had was a 2.9. Um, still just north and to the east of the uh, Sawtooth Fault System there in Idaho. The fault system that could definitely create a big earthquake out there 7.5 or greater uh, so this might be a good sign for the folks out there or it could be a sign of uh, just uh, continued pressure it just either way you look at it it's a uh, um, right now we're looking good so anyway folks um, I'm still kind of reading up on the GoPro 8 uh, and some stuff about it I might try some more live video tomorrow be try to shoot a pretty cool sunset or sunrise I don't know if I'll be up early but uh, I do want to test it out uh, the video stabilization on that thing is supposed to be pretty freaking awesome uh, I might even try it out with my drone might hook it up to the drone and see how the GoPro 8 does up there in the air uh, without a gimbal I know it's, uh, it's pretty shaky without one but uh, the GoPro 8 like I said um, I think it's called what's it called Ah, shoot, I forgot. Something Sonic Smooth 2.0 or something. I can't remember. I was just looking at it. <laughs> but uh, I do want to test it out here later on. 
tomorrow. Anyway, folks, have a good, safe Saturday night out there. You know, it's still, I don't know what state you guys are all in, but here in California, we're still practicing social distancing, right? That that word that quite a few folks are tired of hearing, but, uh, you know, it's got to be done. So be safe out there. There's a little earthquake right there in Idaho showing up. Nothing major there, Haley, Idaho, on that seismograph station. But other than that, most of the... Uh, most of the data stations looking relatively quiet tonight. Stay safe. Oh, I got hiccups all of a sudden. That's my cue to leave. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good night. Uh, we'll chat to you guys later. Peace.